Hi, Capricorns. You are my people. I'm Karma with Karma on Deck. Thank you for joining me on my channel. This is your February 17th through the 23rd, 2019 reading. I'm going to do a tarot reading for my Capricorn because this should be for me too. So I'm probably going to have to look at my own video when we're done. So this is my Dragon Tarot. This one talks to us about um, decisions, finances, projects, and work. All right, Capricorn, my darling, let's see where we are. Fate. We are right where we're supposed to be, Capricorn. Fate has got its hand in our life right now. I also feel like you're doing something for education, that you're doing a training or learning new things. Yeah. So that's taking on a new task. You're meeting new people, Four of Cups. This tells me that in business and in life, you're making a lot of new connections popularity. I like it. I have been working pretty hard. So, you know, getting my little bougie on and getting on YouTube, meet you. All right. So Ace of Swords is telling me that Capricorn has some decisions to be making. Pretty heavy decisions and that you're really working the fine line of things. Getting your house in order is also important for wands. I see you getting all of your um, ducks in a row that you're really focusing on goals instead of emotional stuff. However, the biggest thing that's coming up for you is King of Cups. Of course he does. Or love does. So this is the King of Cups, which tells me that there's someone in your life that is very much prominent. Um, and balance, this person balances you. The Ten of Cups tells me this is perfectly balanced. There's someone that really is your opposite, your, uh, your yin-yang. Okay. Um, Ace of Wands, whatever new project that you're doing, you've got all the tools you need to get it done. So this is telling me that you're really putting out work. Capricorns, we are very hard workers and we're all about our money, right? So, however, you also have the tower going on. If you don't do this just right, things could fall apart. You're already that close. It feels like things are just piled on your shoulders. And right here, the Nine of Swords... <laughs> The Nine of Swords, someone is not listening to you. You're feeling like a ghost in your own home. I am personally feeling that one right now. Uh, relationship stuff is popping up in your work environment. So we're going to look into that. We're going to skip the relationship issue that's coming up. But it's, it's popping up with your cards here in the Mystic. I'm sorry, in the Dragon Tarot. You're dealing with a very independent person that is, uh, doesn't listen, has a tendency to do their own thing without any consult to others. And it's frustrating you. There's no way you can force that out of that person. So, <sighs> and you have temperance, which is very interesting. Temperance card represents balance. You're sitting in a river looking at your reflection and you're trying to figure out like where the universe is giving and where you're giving and where they meet in the middle and whether that flow is appropriate. Like, does your job matter? Do you make a difference? Do you um, have a legacy and a thing to show for what you're doing? Oh, well, I like this because shit. Nine of Cups um, represents a celebration and vacation. So if you've got something coming up where you're going to water, the fuck out of here. We both need a vacation. All of us need a vacation. Capricorns work too hard. Um, I also see you isolating from some people or not talking to them. So the Hermit hiding out a little bit we need to move over to relationship stuff because that's popping up in your money so let's just skip that right now capricorns already know where their money's at 90 percent of the time you're emotional right now let's see why so this is my mystic dreamer this one talks to us about emotions family feelings um relationships so let's see what the mystic dreamer has to say to us capricorn thank you for joining me I'm going to shuffle this for a second while I tell you to go on my post. Let me know where you are in the world. I don't care if you're, if you want to put the country, that's fine. If not the city, um, and let me know what your feedback is on your reading. Tell me if it was accurate and what you'd like to see more of. Also, well, I'll tell you that later. Here we go, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on. Capricorn. Relationships and victory. Miscommunication. Boom. Whatever you're trying to say isn't getting taken right. Or you're not hearing other people. They're not hearing you. I'm also picking up the Six of Swords. Things are getting much easier for you. Like you're setting your things up to the point where you don't want any drama. And you just want to make wherever you're happiest be the place you're going. 
Ace of Pentacles, which means success. So whatever you're setting up for yourself relationship wise is about to come to fruition. You're treating it like a business and you're really breaking it down to the finest detail now because you want specific results. I'm also seeing that things aren't always what they seem in um, some situations. Um, be careful and wary of people that, this is my Disneyland card, okay? Disneyland means perfection. It's the story, right? Of um, a prince and a princess and a castle and a fucking rainbow. And usually this is a false front and a costume and a script and it's bullshit. So there's someone in your life that looks like they're perfect and on the inside it's not quite that way. Um, you have a lot of regret going on with some of these decisions you've made relationship wise and whoever you're stalking on the internet, if you're popping around looking, you're just causing yourself distress. I'm also picking up some insomnia and sleep disturbances for my Capricorn. Check out, get some sleep, um, turn that phone off, put it in the other room. Um, you know, no substances that are going to keep you awake. Try to be good to yourself. You have a lot of drama going on with your relationships, similar to Sagittarius. They are usually kind of overflowing with one another. Other. I have the Eight of Swords, so drama is going on all around you. It just feels like everything is exhausting you. I do see the Death card. Ugh, this is terrifying. So this is something that is a new beginning or an ending of something. So it's like uncomfortable for me. I do feel like there's someone in your life that's picking a fight with you. That's constantly pushing you into a corner. Um, and you're also coming to grips with helping family. Um, it's repetition and redundancy um, that these people that you're constantly helping just feels a little bit exhausting at times, but that's what we do. We help each other out. The coolest thing that I see for you, dear Capricorn, is I have the Four of Wands, which is commitment. You are deeply afraid of these things. Right? So that's the moon card. This is the journey you're afraid to take. Also, Page of Cups. Chemistry, emotions, feeling brand new and young and like a teenager. A lot of emotions running high with everybody right now. End result card right here is Page of Swords. It makes the decisions. Make Keep the decisions simple and it'll make the bigger problem simple. It all boils down to one little detail here and there. Stick to your moral high ground and uh, look at the details because they can tend to become bigger later. Thank you for joining me. Stay tuned for content next week. I'm gonna be putting some videos out that have to do with um, tarot and uh, how to pick your deck and how to do some spreads, some myths and misconceptions, and also your um, tarot reading on Sunday for next week. So stay tuned, come find me at Karma on Deck and I'm at Instagram and Facebook. I'm at Karma Connection in Las Vegas. I look forward to hearing from you. Please go on and give me a little feedback. Otherwise, I'll see you next week, my Capricorn.